All right, so here we're using a hydraulic floor jack. I'm going to show you the process. Even for that part of the frame, you jack it up like this. This is the process of lifting the car with a hydraulic jack. That's a jack stand. We're going to insert the jack stand. We have to lift it up enough. We're going to align the jack stand. And then we're going to loosen the jack. Send it across to the other side. And we're going to repeat this process. Line it up. You can use your hand and do it like this before you have to do the heavy lift. You can just line it up with your hands. Then you insert it, tighten up the nut, then go like this and tighten it up. Put the jack stand there. Loosen it a little bit. Put on some gloves. Nitrile work great. These are thin nitrile from Costco. This keeps the engine oil off your hands. We're going to extract a half inch socket from this assembly here. It's the 14 millimeter we're after. There it is. We're going to install it on an extension bar, 4 inch. This is called an oil pan. We're going to break free the nut there and drain out the engine oil. Just like that, we save it in this container here. We're going to put the we're going to put the drain bolt back, but first we're going to install a copper washer just like that. Now we're going to screw it in there. We're going to tighten it up finger tight. Then we're going to use you're going to see here Tap that off just like that. Tight. We're going to go to 24 foot pounds. Not too much. There's the socket onto a torque wrench. We're going to adjust it so that it goes right and tight. Then we're going to put it on that bolt and tighten that drain bolt so that it doesn't wiggle free. All set. Now we're going to use this tool. We're going to open that back up so we can capture the oil. We're going to use this tool on the oil filter housing. First, we got to pull that part out. Now we're going to put the adapter on. Boy, this gets weird. This is kind of tricky. We're going to use a breaker bar. We're going to get in here. We're going to use that breaker bar to try to break this free. This is a complete pain in your upper torso. You can see I really have to get after it here. You're going to, yeah, it's, it's not a good time. It's better if the engine's warm for this stage. I'm sure there's better tools. It's that darn o-ring and that plastic housing inside that aluminum receptacle. Look at how I have to actually just go after this thing. And this, I'm not kidding, when I bought this car, was on there so tight, I was standing on this breaker bar with my feet applying 240 foot-pounds of torque, I resorted to buying a new one, actually, in order to free it, and I had to break the original one to get it off. It was a three-hour ordeal. Here you see, over the course of a couple of minutes, yeah, incredibly, it takes like five minutes, I have to take the 3 8 adapter out, put it back in, go back and forth, back and forth, you can feel it quarter of a turn at a time, quarter of a turn at a time, half a turn, half a turn. Now it's, it's hand tight. All right, once you get it kind of free, move that oil pan back over there. Once you see the oil coming out of there, that oil is going to start leaking out of there. And as you undo it, look at it increase in intensity. You're going to see. Now I'm going to move the camera so you can see it. This was solo camera action there. See, you can see the adapter on the oil filter housing. I'm just going to loosen that up like that and we can see the oil stream increase. Man, is there a lot of oil in there. Look at that. That burnt engine oil full of all those combustion products. Now watch as we pop this open. We're going to just tilt this down and we're going to let that filter element just sit on there and drain the oil out of it. Now we're going to remove the o-ring from the housing. Here's the Wix filter. We're going to pull that out, pop the new filter in. Then we've got a brand new butyl rubber o-ring. We're going to pop that on, just carefully stretch that around. You're going to align that up with the groove. Just roll it down with your fingers. Once it's on the groove, go around the edge, make sure it's all right. Now you're going to reinstall the oil filter. You're going to tighten it back on. It's a reverse of that original procedure. You're just going to tighten, 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 tighten until it seats. Then you're going to tighten that a little bit more. 
So you gotta put that little retainer bracket back. Now you're gonna take the jack stand out, lift the car back down, take the other jack stand out, lift the car back down. We're gonna open the hood just like this. And then we'll come around here, pop the hood up just like that. We're gonna use this little bracket here and hold the hood up just like that. Now we're gonna grab a special filter assembly. I 3D printed this one. We're gonna open this oil filter housing. Man, is that tight. Look, I put all my weight into it. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna try to undo it. There we go, finally, I got it. Wow, that was on there, snug. That heat cold cycling of the engine. Really tighten that in there, drop that filter. Now we're gonna put three and a half quarts, or about four liters. Something like that. We check the dipstick. Everything looks good. Looks like it filled properly. We're going to tighten that on. Close the hood. Just like that. Snaps closed. And now we're going to recycle the oil. So we're going to use this antique gas can that's been used to recycle engine oil. I'm going to pop a funnel in there like that. That aids with aiming when you're training. We're going to take the end cap off of this. We're going to tighten that. Make sure nothing leaks. We're going to carefully tilt this up. Look at that, that petrochemical oil. Now, the cool thing about engine oil is that it can be recycled. So by doing this, I take it back to the auto parts store in this container and pour it into a big 600 to 1,000 gallon blue painted steel receptacle, and it gets turned into new engine oil. Make sure to recycle your engine oil. It's a carcinogenic nasty substance, and it can be cleaned up and turned into new lubricating oils for other applications or diesel fuel.